Hello and welcome Pisces. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, Pisces, let's get started. Let's see what is coming in for my fellow fishies. Give us something good this week. All right, so Pisces, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Pisces, what is going on? What is coming in? And what do you need to know? Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Right, we had a flipper. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, beautiful, getting that coin, Pisces. New beginnings, new possibilities. Planting roots. For some of you, I get you're kind of scared to take this. I don't know why I got that. It's like you're scared to take a new beginning here. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have that Five of Swords. So that could be where that fear is kind of stemming from here. All right. Okay. All right. So Pisces, um, nine of pentacles is the first to come out. It feels like you are kind of doing your own thing. It's like you're focusing on what you need to focus on. You're focusing on some kind of goals. You're focusing on plans that you have, um, you know, dreams. It feels like these are, this is something solid though. It feels like you are trying to get something like off the ground. Um, for some of you, this could be building your own business. Others, this is just being very independent, uh, very confident, and just kind of doing your own thing, like I said. Um, I'm also getting that somebody is waiting on communication. Could be from a Capricorn um, or just, you know, an Earth sign. Could be fire sign. Could be air sign. Um, but I'm getting that somebody is waiting on some kind of communication as well. With the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Um, there's a new beginning that's going to be presented to you, Pisces. If it hasn't yet, it will be soon. However, it just feels like you're kind of on the fence about taking it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. It kind of feels like there's some fear kind of holding you back, Pisces. With the Seven of Wands, it feels like you've made peace with something. Yeah, and then with the Five of Swords, yeah, I just keep getting like there's some kind of fear and starting this new beginning. Um, I keep getting there's a fear of being let down. I don't know if this is letting yourself down, letting somebody else down. Hmm. Um, Pisces, I'm also getting kind of like a warning as far as don't let yourself be mentally manipulated. Because it feels like you're very giving. You're very like, I'm here to help. Let me help you. Let me, you know, do this. But it's like somebody doesn't have your best interest at heart here. So take that how it resonates. All right, let's clarify. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles first, please. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so we have another nine. Um, so approaching some kind of ending to a cycle or something here. So we have the nine of wands, we have the page of swords, and we have the page of pentacles. Okay, so there is some kind of younger energy here. Um, Pisces, if this is involving another person, possibly a relationship or something, um, any, any type of situationship, I should say, because this is a general reading, um, there could be like an age difference between you and a person. It kind of feels like, you know, you're going through some stuff right now. There are some trials and tribulations. You're really kind of getting, you know, going through all the muck, but you're getting through it. Um, it kind of feels like this person does have your back. Um... Like I said, it feels like there could be a bit of an age difference between the two of you. It kind of feels like somebody's been really kind of keeping an eye on you, like via social media, or this could be communicating social media. 
on social media. Um, but I'm getting that somebody's really just been kind of watching you as well. They're either admiring your independence or wanting to express that they want to offer either a relationship or this could be an apology. But it's like they want to open up communication. They want to offer something like, you know, Pisces, let me help you. But Pisces, you're feeling pretty independent. Like, I don't know if this is just a stubbornness or if this is just feeling independent. Like, no, I've got this. Hmm. All right. Ace of Pentacles is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The Magician and the King of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like, you know, again, um, with this new beginning, it feels like it's about to happen. It feels like something is really going to be coming in for you. Um, Ace of Pentacles, you know, this could be something having to do like with finances or just some kind of new beginning, like planting roots. You know, this could be purchasing a new home, you know, moving, um, you know, the start of a new job, a new relationship. You know, this could be a number of things. You know, this is, again, a new opportunity, you know, with um, endless possibilities here. With the Wheel of Fortune, it does feel like, you know, timing is an issue. It feels like the next turn of the wheel. So, again, fall time. Fall time is, like, the key time that a lot of things are going to start happening for a lot of people, I noticed. Um, with the Magician card, this is somebody not only who has all the tools and knows how to use them, but this is somebody manifesting the heck out of a situation here. Pisces, I'm getting that you are giving, getting, like, some crazy luck going on. Either coming in, if it hasn't started happening already, it just feels like it's going to be coming in. Like, something major for you, Pisces, that's really going to kind of just set you, like, over that hurdle that you've been having trouble getting over. Um, it does feel like I said, you know, change of luck is coming in. Yeah, it just feels like it feels really good. It feels really, really good. All right, I want to clarify that seven of wands, please. All right, so we have the six of swords. We have the four of cups. And we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay, so Pisces, what I'm getting with this is for a lot of you, you've been trying to move forward. You've been trying to move on from a certain situation. Just kind of, you know, lay it to rest. You know, put it behind you. It's like you got past the hurt. You got past the betrayal. Um, if this was an unrequited love or you've been waiting for communication from somebody, they just haven't reached out. It's like you're done waiting. See how he's got that cup? He's just kind of pouring it out. He's like, I'm doing my own thing. And I think that's where that independent streak is coming from. It's just like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting on either somebody to come through, express some kind of communication, or to want to restart a relationship. But it's like you're, you're focused on where you're going, and you're getting there. You're putting, like I said, the past to rest, and you're focused on your future. You're focused on where you're going. So, yeah, so that is good. All right, let's clarify the double card, please. It almost feels like you've been kind of tied to a person or a situation that's been kind of holding you back. But it just feels like there's a lot of changes coming in. Yeah, it really kind of feels like you've sacrificed a lot. Um, either time or just a lot for a certain person. With the Seven of Cups, it almost feels like this person was just kind of greedy, just kind of take, take, take. Um, like I said, because it kind of feels like, you know, Pisces, you're showing up here as a hanged man here. Um, that you, you know, had to sacrifice a lot to get where you're going. With the Chariot card here, it feels like you're finding some kind of balance, and you are moving forward. You're getting past that toxicity. You're getting past that um, always sacrificing for somebody else, and you're just kind of focusing on you. You're Like I said, you're really focused on where you're headed, on some kind of goal here, some kind of independence. Yeah, it feels like the start of something. For some of you, this is starting a new business. For others of you, this is, like I said, it kind of feels like there's somebody new approaching. All right, so for the Five of Swords, we have the Strength card. We have the Knight of Wands, so yeah, so that's that person approaching. Um, then we have the Three of Wands here. Okay, so it does feel like I said, you know, somebody could be coming in with some kind of communication, but it's almost like it, they come in kind of late. So, you know, Pisces, that's, of course, that's up to you. That ball is in your court, whether, you know, what you choose to do with that. But it does feel like somebody is approaching you and rather, rather quickly. Um, 
with the strength card here, it does feel like you've been patient. You know, you're just kind of embracing, you know, embracing your inner self, kind of embracing everything, you know, you've been through your whole situation, all the work that you've put in. Um, but like I said, it does feel like a new opportunity is arising. It does feel like somebody's going to be approaching you soon. So take that how it resonates. We do have the King of Cups showing up here. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have that Queen of Cups. So huh. they're not looking at each other. And I just kind of have to, let me take that card. Like I said, it kind of feels like the person you've been waiting for to communicate or to see if they want to fix a situation or something. Um, it just kind of feels like you are focused on doing your own thing now and they come in to communicate and it's just like, I don't know if I want this now. Okay. All right, let's take some Romance Angel Oracle. See what is coming in for Pisces. What is coming in for Pisces? Okay, so that person that's coming in um, is the Knight of Wands, and it does look like they're kind of coming in hot and heavy. They're coming in with some chemistry here. Um, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So stay optimistic about your love life, Pisces, because it does feel like you are calling in your soulmate. Okay. For some of you, it kind of feels like you're stepping away for love for, um, for a minute. You know, just kind of focus on yourself, focus on where you're going, what you're doing. For others of you, it feels like you're kind of focused on that coin or this new opportunity that's presenting itself. But it also feels like not only is there a new opportunity that's presenting itself, but there's also, like I said, um, a new person that's going to be coming in, kind of hot and heavy, lots of chemistry. This person feels like it's your soulmate. So again, just keep raising that vibration because it feels like you're the one calling them in. Feels like, like I said, with that, going back to that um, magician card, it feels like somebody's really manifesting the heck out of something here. And it's like your luck is really changing for the better Pisces. Okay. So we have stoked. So riding the wave of positive manifestation. Excited, dream come true, great things happening. So exactly what I just said, um, the card that comes out just really kind of confirms everything. All right, any other messages for Pisces, please? Any other messages for Pisces? Okay, so Pisces, we have the real deal. They say you're a light, hold on, I cannot read that. Uh, they see your light, a total keeper, genuine, compatible, authentic, healthy, a good choice. All right, so Pisces, like I said, the soulmate that you are calling in, that you are manifesting, um, all your good luck, like I said, that's going to come in, that is changing for the better, because um, it feels like you've been through some trials and tribulations, especially with those nine of wands coming out, like you've been through some stuff here, Pisces, um, but it does feel like what you're calling in is definitely some positive manifestations, it's like you're really pulling in all that good stuff, and it feels like this person is a real deal, everything that you are manifesting feels like it's the real deal, it feels like it's what you want, it feels like just yeah just like you are stoked about this you are so happy about this all right let's get some hidden oracle hidden truth oracle okay so we will be together again like i said um pisces it kind of feels like that person from the past that you're waiting to hear from it's like better late than never i guess is kind of what's coming to mind here uh take it how it resonates I regret lying to you, and I want to tell you how I feel. So yeah, it does feel like in the past this person has kind of lied to you about how they feel towards you. Um, yeah, I think you knew that, Pisces, and that's why you waited for him, because you knew there was more to the story than what they were actually telling you or letting letting on. It feels like this person was kind of you know masking their feelings towards you, and so it does feel like you know they are they did lie at the time and they regret it because they didn't get that chance to tell you how they truly feel, and that's why, like I said, there is communication. Um, I guess it's better late than never, but yeah, it's coming in. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's grab some charming oracle heartfelt love messages. All 
All right. I am excited to see what good things you guys are manifesting. You'll have to let me know. What is it that you're calling in? What is it that you are manifesting for yourself? Because it definitely feels like I said, some good things are really about to roll in for Pisces here. All right, can you give me a message for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So remember what I said about that person masking their true feelings for you, how they regret lying to you about how they truly feel? I was wearing masks, but you could see right through me, and that scared me. So yeah, so you being Pisces, that you are, that beautiful, intuitive, fishy, you seen right through their mask. Like I said, you could feel that, and I think that's why you waited. I really, truly do. And it's like, you know, you could see through this person. I think that person, maybe there is a bit of an age difference. And so, you know, that did kind of spook them. It was just like, whoa, you know, Pisces can actually see me for the, for the real me. And nobody else has been able to do that before. Um, I'm struggling with money at the moment. So this person could have some financial issues. Um, you know, Pisces, it kind of feels like you're working towards that coin as well. Um, then we have, I really miss you regardless of how things might seem. All right. Beautiful. Okay, and I have to show you the bottom of the deck because I, it just caught my eye as I was getting ready to talk to you about that one. Um, it's silly of me to want you so badly and to keep it so concealed. I'm your secret admirer. Okay. All right, so I'll let that soak in for a minute. But yeah, Pisces, like I said, this person is definitely, you're still on their mind. Um, I think you're just letting go because you're focusing elsewhere. And I think that's kind of what it needed to, it. you know, because I feel like you guys are energetically connected somehow or, you know, in some way, like you can kind of pick up on them. Maybe they can pick up on you, whatever the case is. But, it, you know, I think for them to see you kind of pull away to start doing your own thing and know that you're not going to wait around for them, it really kind of woke them up and, you know, kind of got them on the ball. Like maybe I should come forward. I think I need to bring forth communication because Pisces is doing their own thing. They're not going to wait on me forever. Like, you know, Pisces is very valuable, very wanted, very, um, very admired here, you know? So yeah. So if I don't tell them how I feel, they're going to move on forever and I'm going to lose my chance. So, all right. Well, Pisces, that is what I have for you. So I hope this helps your situation, gives you some kind of insight. Thank you all so very much for spending some time with me watching and doing all that magic that you do. I appreciate you all so very much. I love you until the next time. Take care.